karibu kande kelasi chetu cha dogori na karuno kolaba kwa henza kokika kende chirie gari ngoda nirisoma ulogori that today we shall be looking at a, another aspect of reading and writing ulogori and our case scenario is this translation of the bible uh, basically as a literature piece uh, not as a religious or historical piece just literature there we will be looking at the first verse the first chapter the first book ritanga kutanga katanga genesis 1 1 and people have looked into issues of translating the bible one of them being dr wangia kenyatta university who wrote a paper on morphophonological issues in translating the bible the rogoli case uh, that is it, uh, uh, rather later on apart from people who have done their best to try to translate the bible as a religious or rather a book to help people learn or rather develop religious interest as far as christianity is concerned and all that but our interest is in how the writings were done what was the, the intention what was really written vis-a-vis -vis the intention and if it does comply with what we call structural rugged or rather a lexicon best language that this lesson or rather this initiative endeavors uh, to advocate for for better language writing now and in future so we will be looking at these two case scenarios and we'll be referring them back to where they came from in these two books the first is the old or rather the first rogori bible which was printed in great britain in the year 19 uh, 51 printed in Great Britain, Lowe and Brydon Printers Limited, London. So this is the first. Uh, just the cover has been done because uh, too much reading <laughs> or too much belief in the word of God I had people read and read and read till the cover came out. So this one is just a, a redone cover and it is in that one that we drew our first verse so 1951 uh, great britain it writes or it reads muritanga mu ritanga nasale la romba miguru neriro that's how it reads and the second one, which is now titled Kitabu Kitakatifu, uh, a work by the Bible Society of Kenya. Uh, it's written here in conjunction with local churches, 2008. And this one, Rogori Bible, ISBN 978 Kitabu Kitakatifu. This one reads Mu Ritanga Nasale Zaromba Riguru Ni Rirogo. Uh, it's not about the case of which writing is good, which kind of translation is best, and all that. It is a case of how do we write? How do we interpret? What do we mean in writing? And all that. So in looking at this, our question is, 
is this how we write? Is this how we mean? Is this how we interpret? And to add, is this how we speak? We'll start. When we write mu, space, ritanga, space, what are we saying? How can we define a rogori word? Is it a standalone morpheme? Is it a lexicon? Kind of a writing where we can go back into our dictionary and say mu means in and that we should write it alone that mu if you find a word mu in writing you should know it means in don't care whether it means in what and does that go along the grain or against the grain when we say that rugori words are a kind of conglomerating, are kind of grouping, so that uh, in one word it would appear a sentence. Is that so? So in such kind of arguments, we end up kind of trying to look better and have a keen eye on these two kind of writings. And if we have another a kind of better or rather more sitting writing, then we can bring it along and maybe adopt it. So we'll start. Mu Ritanga splits in the beginning. And by that kind of splitting, we find ourselves uh, having a problem a separation problem Muritanga in the beginning normally in Rurugori we do not have space between the Muritanga in speech we would articulate Muritanga Muritanga in the beginning that it would appear the same thing Mumubiri Mumubiri in the body Mumunua, mumunua, in the mouth. So these two instances here, rather these two here, do agree that we should split, but in talk, in speech, it will appear as one. Nasae, Nasae, here it's taken as one. So there is some kind of agreement among the two translations. Here there is the la romba, la romba, la romba, la romba. There is a difference here and here that the first translation or the first writing tends to separate between the pronoun and the verb while the second combines the pronoun and the verb romba is make the romba med miguru riguru what was the Aim, what were they communicating by writing or by saying Miguru vis-a-vis -vis Riguru? Do we understand what Miguru means? And do we understand what Riguru mean? To me, Miguru and Riguru could be both be right in the sense that Miguru, when we say uh, Maguru, the heavens, Maguru, many heavens. The word Miguru could be interpreted as an attitude or rather a kind of uh, exaggeration. Maguru would be many. 
Meguru will be too many heavens and kind of. And then Riguru will be one. But some people find this one a miss. So this one kind of would agree in this sense. Here Neriroba and Neriroba tries to combine both the conjunction Kyungi Neriroba is combined with the noun and here the conjunction is paced with the noun Kyungi Kerange Neriroba. So uh, we have these scenarios that we can say they agree here the translations and here but the rest do not. What do we do? Were there cases of, of over separation? Were there cases of over addition? Were there cases of putting random speech before structure and such kind of words? And it's clear that uh, if you look, for instance, in the word Muritanga, Muritanga, there is a separation which is not necessary. The word should be Muritanga. In the beginning. So that structurally, it's one, it's one word, Muritanga, but the Mu is a noun class inference for space inside, because we're speaking about time, but it was at a particular time, among many times or a spectrum of time, at some point of it, inside it. So Muritanga, the way we would say Mumunwa, inside the mouth, Mumunwa. That yes, it's the mouth, but not just the mouth, where in the mouth? It's inside the mouth that we are speaking about. And Rurogori allows you to put together these words for it to mean one, that it is one space one point we're talking about and that is inside that particular thing you've seen me add ritanga the long vowel r ritanga if we wrote ritanga 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 we would not be bringing in the Tonal variation in Rogori. Not that the tonal variation is as a result of random speech, but tonal variation is as a result of the highs and the lows that make the language flow. That without them, some of the writings would be confused with others because there are some words in Rogori that are only different from the other because of the tone. So instead of saying ritanga, it should be ritanga, ritanga, ritanga. From the verb tanga, 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 start, tanga, begin, tanga, commence. Nasare. Some have argued that Nasare is a word that was brought in Rogori that we never had a god that was called Nasare. Yeah, that could be an argument here and there in terms of which words do we take as Rogori and which one that may not really bring in the Rogori meaning. All said and done is that uh, today the word Nasari has been accepted to mean God. 
wherever it came from. That, um, how do we speak or how do we articulate the word nasal? Sometimes we do a long A. Here we can represent it by a macron. Nasal. Nasal. It will be nasal. Nasal. Some acceptors have even got uh, have even gone to an extent by saying this word comes from two Dorogori words that means nasale. Nasale. Na and sale to mean I want to pray. And these are short forms of the words nena. Nena Tsare And random speech is where we articulate Nena But the structured one would be Nena Nena Tsare I want to pray From the verb Enna, enna, want, enna, want. So, whatever the case, we can take the word nasai as a noun well placed here. So others would want uh, to be Mwami, the name for God, Imungu Karoka, others people say that is the name for God in Rogori. From there, we have the romba, the romba, the romba, the romba, the romba. What is the right way? Back into the definition of a word in Rogol, it should be such a fully composed unit that has meaning on its own. So when you write the alone, we over separate it, whereas we, would, we should have joined with the verb for it to give us a holistic meaning. This one would go in as correct, but only to an extent. Why? What is the pronoun of the third person in Ruguri? The pronoun for the third person in Ruguri is A. Small letter case, A. How did it become the Rombo? This is because of the slip phrase and the way random speech tries to articulate such other silent letters to be intoned. So the right word here referring to the third person should be aromba. 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 Why aromba? The R is for time, active, continuing at that particular time. In that beginning, he was making that the it was not static but going on. Past. R capital for supernatural, that if it was a person, Arima, Shidag, Adeka, she cooked, it's not the Adeka, no, because you don't have that as third person pronoun. So in articulation and random speech, we invent the air. 
so so far na sale aromba liguru ni liroba miguru ne liroba here we are at ease or at peace because the nouns here are well done and put such that our problem should be whether the conjunction should be separated from the preceding or rather from the uh, coming on noun what do we do we have to separate a conjunction from the next word which is a noun in this case and what conjunction in rugori means and that is what we should be taking great interest in that do we take any conjunction to me and do we be victims of random speech or do we structurally know which of the conjunctions mean what and what such that in our previous class we did learn that na is a conjunction that means end na is the conjunction that means end so that where is it here not anywhere and why are they writing or are they opting for ne and here ni these are effects of random speech where the tongue is more likely to adopt the first sounding syllable of the next word how why the e here is here nero nero and that but the best or rather the kind of agreeing whereby we won't be find ourselves in such a scenario whereby others would opt ne others name others because if you found something like uh, rubanga the writing would be nurubanga so it will be ne ni no which cannot be the case always what we take should be or is na for the conjunction so towards this point what are we learning or saying or taking home as matters as writing robot is concerned we should be aware of some very basic things in Rurugoshi. That when we speak about words, we should take words as holistic. That their meaning should be well read in that kind of co uh, combination. Secondly, we should avoid separating words just because you think or we kind of want to interpret them in the language that they're coming from another we should limit ourselves in the use of random speech so that uh, what we get or what we have at the end of the day is such a language that uh, can come back to its sense and be lexicon proof that would make the language be well written, be well interpreted, and be devoid of any errors. So if we were to write a sentence, or if we were to rewrite the very sentence today or now, informed by our lessons this is how we're going to write it
mulitanga na sale aromba Liguru na Liroba This is how And you are welcome to comment To say To write To add And bring on your views Onto the same because this is a course in making that going ahead we should be writing in such a way that we are agreeing and we are following some simple rules of writing roguri thank you kwagane